Hi, I'm Mike, and today we've got lots of prep work for fencing to be done. Today on the ranch, Beckart is going to be showing up and putting in brand new deer fencing for us this week, but we've got lots of work before we could even get to that point. So stick around. This is our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our Wyoming Life. My name is Mike and this is uh, the garden. <laughs> we are over here at Aaron's uh, big garden, little garden, and the high tunnels that you can see off there in the distance. And what our big project for uh, the, this week is, is that Beckart's gonna be here with us and they're gonna be helping us out by fencing in this entire area. We have a huge problem with deer in the summertime. So uh, we are actually gonna be putting up some seven and a half foot tall deer fencing and we're gonna show you how that's done coming up over the next week. Uh, that fence is gonna encompass uh, this garden, this garden, these are both outdoor gardens, and then the high tunnels on the other end and a little bit of the orchard uh, down there as well. So a whole lot of fence gonna be going in, but that means that there's a whole lot of prep work that needs to be done as well. We've been working on this for the last few days and you can see uh, the difference uh, that our destruction has made. We took down a whole bunch of fence here, a whole bunch of fence there. And what I'm working on right now is actually some irrigation uh, that I'm trying to get done before Keith gets here from Beckart and uh, get this irrigation done so it's done and out of the way before we start putting in fence and we have to fight the fence in order to do the irrigation. So over here on this side, this is a little garden is what we call it. Um, it is roughly, what, 70 feet by about 32 feet. And uh, this irrigation used to lay all on top of the ground. Uh, now we're in the process of putting it back in. As you can see, uh, we trenched in here, not very deep because this is only a summertime irrigation uh, system, but all this was trenched by hand. And uh, I don't know if you've ever trenched by hand. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Here's our goose friend coming to give us a hand. So we still have to hear, we still have to do all the irrigation. Hey, shush, I'm doing something, shush. We still have to do all the irrigation for this side. Uh, and that's gonna entail taking all of this pipe and getting it underground along with multiple spigots. This is actually the bigger side of this project. Uh, this is all uh, controlled through an irrigation system and, and all that good stuff. So uh, what we wanna do is get all this line buried, trenched in, and the sprinklers uh, put up above ground. Uh, we're gonna be working on that today, and that is why we have this monster over here. This thing we actually rented. Um, it is basically a ditch witch. It's gonna dig the trench for us, and uh, we're gonna get a chance, well, it is a ditch witch. Uh, that's the brand name of it. We're gonna be a, have a chance to use this today to be able to get all that irrigation underground. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. Also, we're gonna be building some gates out of top link, uh, chain link top link. We're gonna be building some big gates uh, uh, for us to be able to get in and out of this area and we're going to be cutting a whole crap load of pipe that's all coming up today so uh, lots of work to be done and i guess no better time than now to start it actually what i need to do is i need to pop in another sprinkler uh, into this line uh, in the small gardens and then that will be done we can get that covered up and be done there so i've got two more sprinklers to put in over there and then we'll be able to move on to hopefully uh, running this ditch witch and getting some of that done too so Let's get rolling. Okay, so this is super simple. Uh, we've got our sprinklers on a riser on a T, which is just going to go right into this line. I've already went ahead and put it all together with pipe sealer, uh, pipe sealant or whatever it's called, that white goopy stuff that ends up all over your hands. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these back in. Uh, you wanna cut the line and drop these in. We already have our length down. We measured, we found center. Uh, we'll be good to go. So we can just put these in really quick and then be done with this side of the garden and then get onto the trencher. There is still gonna be some water in this line, but at least turning off the water saves us from getting sprinkled. Bad things happen. All right, on this kind of stuff, I actually really like to use hose clamps uh, on this poly, just because it does seem to work a little bit better. Um, you can use these little clamp things, and I've used those in the past too, they work just fine. I just like hose clamps, because if you do screw up, you can take them off relatively easily and, and uh, fix your mistake. 
and nose. We never make mistakes, do we? Oh, just like that. I forgot to put the hose clamps on. So polyline seems to be the cheapest for me for irrigation. Um, you could use PVC. The problem with PVC is it's gonna get brittle over time. Uh, this stuff doesn't seem to do that. Also, it stands up to winters just a little bit better if there happens to be a little bit of uh, water left in the line at the end after we blow it out for winter time. Uh, it's not the end of the world. This stuff seems to have a little bit more stretch and, and that kind of thing to it. Another quick tip here that I like when you're using hose clamps is that I use two hose clamps on each connection and I face them the opposite direction so that you're able to get to, to both of them just like that. Very simple. All right, let's hook up the other side here. Here's our hose clamp. And there we go. We have a sprinkler. Okay, all the sprinklers are installed, so this garden is ready to test. Set up for five minutes on each side. Usually we want to make sure that we're aiming them correctly. So we usually go side to side. Make sure that they're aimed correctly. And if they're not, we can kind of give them a little bit of a twist. Okay, so the one thing we have to deal with all the time here is wind. And that's why there's so many sprinklers on this little garden. There's six different sprinklers just to cover this little bit of area. And that's because sometimes the wind will be blowing this way, sometimes it'll be blowing that way. And it's always gonna affect how this garden waters. So we wanna make sure that everything gets watered uh, every single time. So there's three on each side, plenty of, uh, plenty of space, 30 feet in between each sprinkler. Um, and it's plenty of, uh, plenty of sprinklers to make sure that this thing gets watered completely as it runs through its cycle. Okay, speaking of cycles, uh, let's head on over here. We're going to get this ditch witch fired up and, uh, and start putting some of this line in the ground. So while I had to rebuild Aaron's little garden completely, the big garden is already pretty much set up. Um, there's a couple little things we have to do over there, but for the most part, irrigation is already done. We just have to dig a trench and lay it in. Trenching, by the way, a lot more fun when you've got a trencher. So this thing is actually pretty easy to drive. Um, if you do have to do trenching, this is probably the way to do it. Nobody wants to dig anything by hand, but um, we're gonna just kind of get to work. We're gonna go for an 18 inch trench and uh, see how well we can get that done. And hopefully this goes smoothly.
Alrighty guys, let's look and see who the uh, <clears throat> the cat just dragged in. Hey. Hey, hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm a little behind. A little behind. But that's that's all right. okay. That's usually how we stay, isn't it? Yeah, no behind. doubt. No. All right, so Keith is going to go out and start laying out his corners, uh, and he's getting ready to start this big project. Tomorrow, I think, is going to be the big day for that, but we got to finish up with this irrigation. We also have to build those gates, so time is, is running short. guys so we've got a little bit of a wait i got to go back to town and get some more parts to be able to finish up that whole irrigation thing which is the story of my life uh, but we're going to head into the shop now and work on this gate which we're building entirely out of top link for chain link it's uh just a, a piece of galvanized steel pretty thin i think it's an inch and three eighths and we're going to use that to make a frame that we can use over around the gardens to be able to make these big old gates that are seven and a half feet tall and the deer can't get over because we've ran into that in the past where we built gates that go into taller fences the deer just find the gates so we're going to try to uh, outsmart them just a, a little tiny bit <laughs> Crazy nights, figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's break. your mind trying to save your time in case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list girl you can skip this funny business because up there it's complicated and overrated down here everything is understated that's all right by me i got everything that i need So there we go. We built a frame. Um, we're going to get it moved outside and then we're going to go grab Keith and uh, and see if he can help us with getting some uh, some fencing on this gate and see. There's our gate. We'll 
get it uh, moved outside. Fun, fun, fun. We got a gate frame done. Let's go see what uh, Jeff's up to. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, what's Jeff doing while Mike is out screwing things up? Well, Jeff is the responsible one on the ranch and he's over here making fence posts. Everybody was wondering what you were doing. As little as possible. So I think, well, yeah, there's <laughs> that. So you've been cutting fence posts. Now this is a, a list that, that Keith sent us well ahead of time because he's really prepared. That's right. to give other people work <laughs> but he, he sent us a list a cut list how many how many total feet of pipe do you think you cut today well i'd need a calculator because <laughs> it's a lot I'd need a, actually i would need a calculator <laughs> so you've cut 21 corner posts 11 foot long 12 kicker posts six foot long and 20 line posts that are 10 foot long 200 400 500 a lot 550 feet 550 feet of pipe uh, going into this project keith is over there beating the hell out of something uh let's go see what he's up to and then i i built a gate you and did. i screwed up an entire water system <laughs> so i'm glad you got something done um but uh i did build a gate keith is going to help us uh you want to come help us put wire on a gate really quick i can do that all right let me grab keith and we'll see uh, we'll sure, go see he what he's up to. He's doing manual labor over there. I'm going to get started with the hardest post possible. The very hardest one, for sure. <laughs> Did you find some concrete? Uh, I'm tamping that in. Oh, gotcha. I had to drive it at an angle because I can't get under it. Right, yeah, because this is this is where we're starting the whole thing. And this is... Are we doing an H here? We'll do an N. And head it that way. Okay. Well, I... I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> All this stuff is crazy, man. I've got uh, I've got a gate built if you want to put some wire on something. Cool. Let's go do it. All right. <laughs> we have one gate we have a lot more left to do so stick around over the next uh, couple videos probably we'll be finishing up uh, this huge project uh, that is going to encompass Aaron's entire garden empire and hopefully keep the deer out that's the plan anyway with the help of Beckard Keith of course Jeff here helping us out we're going to get her done and we're going to show you how we do it each step of the way. So stick around, that's all coming up right here on our Wyoming Life. Oh yeah, before I forget, Aaron made me promise I'll finish the irrigation on the garden too. So, that's off the way also. Thanks guys, have a great night, we'll see you next time.